Chapter 4 Importing OBJ Files Hello and welcome to another Projection 3D video tutorial. Today I'll show you how to import OBJ files into After Effects. So, we'll be using 3ds Max. Okay, so create a teapot and reduce the number of segments to 3. Right click to convert to editable poly. The model is now ready, so we can go ahead and export it. Faces, creation method, choose triangles. You may be wondering why do we use triangles? Well, because the polygon faces must be planar. For example, let's create two polygons. This one is planar, and this one is not. If you're sure that your model has absolutely planar faces, you can choose polygons. Create a new camera, click Find Camera, and adjust the position. Click Import OBJ. Don't forget to check 3ds Max in case you're using this program. And we're done. Export camera from 3ds Max to After Effects using state sets. Go to 3ds Max install folder, external plugins, CS5, Windows, copy adobe.aftereffects.dll and autodesk.plugins.adobe.aftereffects.sceneio.dll to the After Effects install folder, support files, folder. Copy autodesk.plugins.adobe.aftereffects.sceneio.loader AEX to the After Effects plugin folder. Now open Adobe After Effects. Good! You got the plugin! Now return to 3ds Max. Hold Ctrl C to create a camera. And let's go ahead and animate the camera. Okay, right click on the toolbar to open the customized display and turn on the state set. Select the camera and press export selection to compositor link. Great! Go back to After Effects. Open compositor link. Click create link and choose the camera you've just created. Open Autodesk Link Composition and import the OBJ file. Check 3ds Max, click OK. And your scene is ready! Export scene from 3ds Max to After Effects. Attention! You can import only low poly scene. The number of polygons should not exceed 1500. This is the projection image. As you can see, we have a ready-made scene for projection. 
Okay, let's start. Click the fuse collar and choose the camera map per pixel. In the camera slot, choose the static camera. For texturing, we have three photos. Main photo and two additional photos, which we previously edited in Photoshop. First of all, select the main photo. Uncheck it. Increase self illumination up to 100. Apply material to selected objects. Great! Copy material and change the texture. Then apply the second material to the ground object. Copy again and change the texture. Apply to object. Great, we've done it. Now right click on the ball and choose select by material. Expert selected objects. And then do the same action. And again. To export the camera properly, make sure that output size is set at HD. Select both cameras and export to the compositor link. Open Compositor Link in After Effects and import the cameras. Okay, import the main photo. Thank you. 
Select the static camera and click on the Find Camera button. Make sure the animated camera Fizz Camera 002 is on top of all the other layers. Don't forget to change shadow map resolution to 4000. Now select a static camera along with the photo and click Create Projection. Now press Precompose, set the number of copies to 3, since we have 3 photos. Double click on Projection Scene 1 and import OBJ file named Front. Double click on projection scene 2 and import OBJ file named black. Double click on projection scene 3 and import OBJ file named bow. Ok, now we need to change the main photo in our composition. To do this, select the comp you want to change and click Replace Projection Image. And we're done. Alright, the projection is ready and you can now render it to see the result. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again.